What's up guys, Randy Orton Fan 2011, and this is the last chance qualifier for the Budweiser shootout. The rules for this one are that um, 30 cars will participate in this in the field, and the top 5 finishers, that's right, the top 5 finishers, whoever is in the top 5 after this one, will advance to the Budweiser shootout. Well, obviously, I don't want, want to save some time in this video, so I'm not going to go through the starting grid, but of course... I'll go through the, the um, first three rows. We have Charles Jackson and Savannah Turner in row one. Then we got Jacob Price and and Alyssa Anderson in row two, filling in for Sam Oskin, the suspended Sam Oskin. And in row three, we have Pichu and Jennifer Miller. All right, let's uh, get this over with with those famous words of Mars Sports. Drivers, start your engines. Once again, no points on the line, just five spots remain for the Budweiser shootout. <coughs> of course, all 30 of these drivers are hungry to make it in, but remember that only the top five will advance. Don't have much of a crowd here. We got only about 20,000, only about 20, 20 25,000 here, but of course, this is only a qualifying race, so... We expect to see that. But we got a 30 car field of talented drivers, but only five of them will make the Budweiser shootout. Pace cars are going to make that hard left to pit road. They're ready to go with a last chance qualifier here at Daytona. Under the lights. Green flag is in the air. And we are underway here at Daytona. is Charles Jackson leading the field through turns one and two. I also turned off yellow flags so that we could have a clean full eight lap race. Charles Jackson got the advantage on that inside. Now we're seeing more uh, reasonable speeds here at Daytona as Charles Jackson in the 9 car will lead the first lap. Obviously, if you haven't seen my last two races, speeds were just crazy. At, they went over 225 miles per hour. Now we're seeing speeds that we're, usually, that we're used to seeing at like around 195 to 200 here around Daytona. Connor Breton in the 20 car has moved into the second position. John Dawson in the 88 up to third. And Breton to the inside, looking to take the lead away. He's got help from the 6 of Brian Young and the 16 of Dylan Young, who, unrelated. Remember, those guys are unrelated. Connor Breton to the lead off turn 4. He will lead the field at lap 2. But here come, here come the two guys named Young, Brian Young and Dylan Young, to the inside of Breton. But it's going to be Dylan Young who's got the inside advantage. Getting help from the 51, getting help from the 51 of Garth Tander. Check this out, they're going three wide through turns three and four. And it's Luke Walker in the 49 car with the inside advantage. Remember, anything and everything can happen at Daytona. We come around five to go. Luke Walker is the leader at the start-finish line. There are three wide through turns one and two. And who is it? Well, it's like the Aussie, the 0-9 of Caleb Cullen. He has the lead. And how about the 21 of Jacob Bell? He's, he's up to second. Boy, anything and everything can happen and will happen at Daytona. Just got to see who's at the right place at the right time. 
at the end of this race. Looks like this might come down to turns three and four, the final lap. As it is Jacob Bell leading the field at the halfway point, four to go. Jacob Bell able to block the inside line. Pedro Pedrosa, the Spaniard, is up to second. Joshua Perry in the five up to third. Looks like Josh Cullen and the 55 is up to fourth. As they run side by side, Jacob Bell and Pedro Pedrosa. <coughs> Pedrosa's got the inside advantage, and it's going to be the Spaniard who will have the advantage off turn four. There are three wide two throughout through the uh, to the start finish line. It's Pedrosa leading that lap. Two to go. I mean three to go. My bad. Now it's the 37 of Sophia Hall, one of the Canadians in the field. Getting help from the Italian, the 38 of Marco Rossi. And how about the 95 of Adam Chambers up to third? We haven't heard much of him in, uh, in season one of the NASCAR Pepsi Cup Series, and now he's trying to make an impact. He wants to make the Budweiser shootout. Who else we got near the front? We got the one of Mitch McDonald, representing McDonald's. And the 15 of Jake Price in fifth position. Two to go now. And this time I'm right with two to go. <laughs> Sophia Hall, the leader. Followed by Marco Rossi. Two foreigners are currently 1-2. Mitch McDonald third. Jennifer Miller is back up to fourth. And Pichu has reclaimed the fifth position. They got a head of steam coming towards the inside line. We come around, turns three and four. Sophia Hall still the leader. Remember, it's the top five. Whoever is in the top five after this one will advance. White flags out, one to go, and it's Sophia Hall leading the field. Sophia Hall blocks Jennifer Miller as they go through turns one and two. Hall in first. Miller second. Savannah Turner third. Alyssa Anderson fourth. How the hell did she come back here? Now you see they'll run side by side. Remember, it's the top five finishers. The top five will advance to the Budweiser shootout. Who's going to get it? This is going to be interesting to the finish. Jennifer Miller will win the race. She will advance through the Budweiser shootout as well as the 83 of Alyssa Anderson. Looks like the 55 of Josh Cullen will make it through. The 37 of Sophia Hall will earn a spot. And the last spot will go to the 20 of Connor Breton. So there are your official race results. The top five, as I told you, will advance to the Budweiser shootout. Jennifer Miller, Alyssa Anderson, Josh Cullen, Sophia Hall, and Connor Breton have earned their spot in the Budweiser shootout. Savannah Turner just missed out, as well as the seven of Randy Carpenter. 38 Marco Rossi was in, up front near the end of the race, but couldn't hold the inside line. And Sasha Dawson in the 48 rounds off the top ten. Then we go through the rest of the finishing order. We have Michael Norman, Deion Scott, Pichu, Dylan Young, Jacob Price, Brian Young, Lewis Gordon, Vitaly Makarov, Adam Chambers, Mitch McDonald, Jacob Bell, Caleb Cullen, Pedro Pedrosa, Joshua Perry, Garth Tander, Hiroshi Kato, Jake Cole, John Dawson, Luke Walker, and Yokohama Kato. That is the finishing order. So the five drivers who will advance to the Budweiser shootout are Jennifer Miller, Alyssa Anderson, Josh Cullen, Sophia Hall, and Connor Breton. Those are the guys who will advance to the Budweiser shootout and will complete the field for the Budweiser shootout. As I already told you, the first the 19 drivers have already made the Budweiser shootout. And these are the, and those five drivers, one more time, Jennifer Miller, Alyssa Anderson, Josh Cullen, Sophia Hall, and Connor Breton. Those are the guys who will complete the field for the Budweiser shootout. 
All right, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys at the real Budweiser shootout. Who will uh, who will start the who will start the NASCAR Pepsi Cup Series season with a bang? Stay tuned. This has been your NASCAR Pepsi Cup Series president, Kevin Rabinal, signing off. This race has been brought to you by the brand new Pepsi Next, real cold taste with 60% less sugar. Pepsi Next.